you guys welcome back to my channel so today i am doing a personal rings flip because i thought i would um i think i know what planner i'm going to order but i just want to get into this planner and then see if i want to order another one of these because i have i do i do really like the finsbury so um it's really soft leather it's been my favorite planner for a long time, more so than Mo Term and Salfiano. So I'm just going to show you guys how I reset this up and I'm going to be adding more as I keep using it. But I needed something a little more with structure, but a little different because my life is different now. So I'm still going to fill out these pockets, but I found my, my paper shower stickers. And I want to do another order, <laughs> too. Um, and I made new dividers with that paper stack I showed you guys. But I think I'm going to order stickers for the side. So I didn't fill them out. So obviously the first tab is my monthly. I've got vellum here. Um, a picture of me and my kids. And for the monthly planner, um, I'm still using Peanuts Planner Co. Which for the most part is very much filled out. Um, I stopped using it the most in September, but every other month's filled out. So I'm going to go back and put dates in. And for 2025, I am printing Peanuts Planner Co. And I'm going to find a new set of dividers. So that'll probably be in the other video coming up since it's almost going to be next year. But behind my monthly, I decided to add reoccurring tasks from Peanut Planner Co., which I discovered I have a ton of inserts in my computer. So I purchased these a long time ago. So I printed them out because I thought here would be nice to like put my monthly cleaning tasks and like, I don't know, like clean out your emails, like clean out things, stuff, you know, that you or like clean out um, or vacuum the car really good. Like, I don't know, detail it. I don't know. Stuff like that. So I put that one in to remind myself and I feel like it would be a good idea to start it in January because even though, yeah, because there's three months left in the year. So you can just, I'm just going to start it um, next year. And I still have the freebie from Plan With B, the uh, 2025 holidays, which I kind of, I picked the floral pattern, I think. You have another option, which is, um, I think stars or something. Yeah. And I found my old dashboard, which is, you can do this. And, um, I made this one on Canva. So I put this one in and I simplified a lot. Like I had too much going on. It was too much, uh, for where I'm at right now. Right now I can't really update things a lot. And that's why I rely on like, my commit 30 because I feel like I'm always go, go, go. Um, but I'm still going to be using my small little pocket one, um, to go with me because it is helpful on those busy, busy days. Uh, however, um, I'm still going to be using my commit on my island. Like I told you guys, I think in the last video, I don't know if I'm going to purchase again, but I do know I'm still going to have a big, huge planner you know, at my, at my kitchen, like a, you know, just a normal size one. And I'm just going to be using that. The reason I changed my mind for like having planners with, I guess, like brands or, or like small businesses is because I got this super cheap one at Hobby Lobby and it's just done what I needed it to do. So I know I can use any other planner and I can use it for the year. So I was, that's why I was thinking about grabbing a personal size, another one of these just for like a change of color, but not really a change of planner. Um, I don't need a change of like scenery or whatever. I like this. I think it's really simple and just what I need when I'm in rings. I don't want too much going on. So um, I thought next was weekly. I don't know why I have lists. Yeah, I have lists next. So I have Plan With B, Freebies in here, the Planner Spot, and then my old recipe, or one recipe I decided to keep for juicing. 
that I still haven't memorized. And then a trip planner. Um, my daughter drew me this. And then I added in notes by SM Plans because I don't exactly know what kind of lists I'm going to make. I make a ton of lists. So when I was cleaning it out, I realized all the lists I had were from like years ago and I really didn't need. So I threw them all away. <laughs> and um, I do need to make a new list. Um, I need to make like a new shopping list for like bulk items but I need like separate stores like I need Amazon I need Target and um like a Home Depot one I guess like a home one but yeah Home Depot so I I want to keep that in my list section and come back to it which is why I need my rings my rings is where I keep everything like all my other stuff um to reference so She's always been around. And then I made this dashboard with paper from Hobby Lobby. And I still haven't finished cutting up my vellum. I added in a few pieces, but I, ha I haven't finished my vellum. Okay, so next is weekly. And this is one of the new vellums I added. I really like the floral. And I have by Perpetual Plans, which I love her shop. I was using her dailies for a while. And then I just switched to notebook paper. But um, I really like her shop and her weekly has been like my favorite layout. I definitely will be getting this. Um, if she comes out with a dated for 2025, I'm going to be getting this layout because it just works for me. Um, so you just put, I decorated a little bit, but you just kind of put um, your habit trackers. So for the week, I always need to track um, checking my kids homework and making sure I do that every night. And then I track my daughter's meds, um, my youngest medicine. And then I track, um, I feel like I track, yeah, I track my water intake. Um, that's pretty much it, but I feel like I'm missing a few things. I feel like I used to track workouts. Oh yeah. And then like separate homework tasks. So I don't just put like ch check homework. Like I put like the reading nightly and then um, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and then in my weekly, I always have to like make a note, like if I have to wash my kid's uniform, um, to do's, uh, I mean, uh, sports, sorry, clothes. And then to do notes and reminders. So I really, really like this one. Um, so that's the only bummer I've had about using my commit is I couldn't use and the and the pocket and the I wasn't able to use this one so that's what I really like is this layout and you get November and I like that she doesn't put the dates because if you miss a week or you mess up I don't know you miss a week let's say you mess something up you can just put your own dates on December and that's how it ends and I really want the 2025 one so um yeah, and then next up, this is a freebie from Mama Plans, and I love this color. This is like something blue. I forget, but I decided to keep that one for my dailies. Got pictures, and I made the good morning one, kind of just to like remind me it's your morning. Plan it out. Don't be stressed. <laughs> so for now, I am just using lined paper. I ripped this out from which in case you guys like this paper I I really do like it a lot so much so that I bought another notebook of the same paper and you do have to trim it down I trimmed it down because I don't really like it hanging out in my Filofax like I did but I got this one from the Dollar Tree you'll always find them there it's like um kind of like a like a hard paper but crisp like I like this um color and like the shading of it or whatever I'm sure five star paper is like this that's what I'm thinking five star so I cut a whole notebook up and I just trimmed half of it down because I you know you guys know I'm not a fan of cutting but um I did for the sake of using my planner and reorganizing my life um so this is what's left for like the month I just have it out here so that I can just you know put more dailies in 
Um, the problem I'm finding with the commit when I'm using the commit is that I don't really, um, have any space to write daily. So that doesn't really motivate me to use a planner. It's really good for like a spreadsheet, like for your week and tracking things. I, I love any planner that helps me do that, but sometimes I can't remember like something right now. It's my kid's medicine. And I really need to take some notes to refer to treatments and stuff like that and how it's going. And then I also need to take some notes because I don't know, sometimes I just, I just don't even like, let me think, let me try to think of a bit of an example to help. Yes. So this is a big one. So I'm not going to share too much. Yeah. But I'm just going to read it since I can't. So basically, um, on the days that my kid, my older kid has practice, I have to remind myself where I'm going with my youngest <laughs> because, um, we don't exactly, we, we're, we have a long drive basically, right? So we stay where we're at in that city and, um, she just likes to spend all my money. <laughs> if she could, she would. So I need to write myself things and I will like pull my planner out. I am, as you guys know, I'm going to buy a bigger bag. Um, I bought a smaller wallet, which is really awesome. It's not here and I did want to share it. It's like a small one um, from New Day and Target. You can find them. They're like 10 bucks each. And I love that I'm not using a big humongous wallet. I was using a Vera Wang for the longest time like big though and getting heavy because like if I have space I will just pack the quarters in and change and I'll just no so I got a small one and honestly I'm gonna get a bigger bag so I can fit my personal to take with me because it was so funny like I think one whole week I was really tired from studying and I my little kid managed to spend I don't even know like the cash I had in my wallet and like two days of the practices. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to write down what we're going to do and where we're going. And that kind of gives you like a structure, even if you're like tired on your second cup of coffee, um, you can remind yourself like, oh, I'm going to go here. We're going to do this. We're not spending that much money. I'm going to get you this. I got you this last time. You already got, you know, like a donut or you already got a treat. Nope, nope, nope. Stuff like that. So I write those little things down. And then I also had a library let me just read this because I'm telling you, it has like my treatment, my daughter's treatment stuff. So I had to, I had a library assignment due and then I had to pick up some holds. I had to go to the grocery store, keep track of her meds, um, plan dinner, um, the time of practice and movie night or whatever and the, the movie they wanted. So my brain's like scrambled, right? I'm like, oh, okay, you know, I have to clean this. I have to do this. So I really need it out on paper or I don't think I can, I don't think I'm as productive as I can be and I tend to forget little things. So even if it's just organizing my day on a sheet of paper, adding in some stickers, like I just really need it. And um, it's okay if I have the command, I'll use all of them. <laughs> you know, then I will really get my stuff done. So I don't even care. Okay, um, sorry about that. And then I went ahead and I went ahead and added um, my monthly overview for, uh, sorry, habit tracker from peanuts planner co. Thank goodness I found it. Cause I can never, I, I clean out my laptop. I'm like, I couldn't find anything because everything was cluttered. <sighs> so I decided instead of putting my habit tracker towards the back, put it by your daily, because then you can track as the day goes by and you will make sure to track it. Okay. And I hope this works. All the way, if I fill out all of these in my rings until December, I'm going to buy SM Plants cute one because I just, I already have it, but it's an A5 size and I love that habit tracker. So, um, I'm going to see if it's in personal size and then I'll switch and I will like, you know, but you got to make sure you actually use it. And I've noticed I have not been tracking for like a year in here. So I want to make sure I do that. Um, and then I have task management. So I didn't put this in any particular section because um, at first I thought school. I don't really need this for school. I need it for all aspects of my life. I was thinking of maybe like, let's say I wanna declutter. Okay, I'm gonna write down the rooms. Let's say I wanna decorate. 
okay, I'm going to write down like which rooms and where to shop. Or let's say I want to um, finish a school project or finish a paper or something, but I know I have to read this first and I have to research this and I have to do this, this. So that's task management, right? You're breaking down um, what you're trying to accomplish into little steps. Or let's say I want to budget, but in order to budget, like I need to look at my receipts or check if I did this, that all those little steps go within that category. So I want it for my whole life, overall life. Let's say it's like my daughter's treatment, but I need to do this, 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 this helps me. Um, so I'm excited to see what I fill out and do. I feel like for sure it's going to be a birthday party <laughs> coming up or like Christmas or something. And I sometimes need to go like step by step when you're feeling overwhelmed, that kind of helps you out. Okay, enough babble or this is going to take forever. The next one, which I love this metallic paper that came in the pack. The next section is school, which I can't show because it just has passwords and uh, citing info. So yeah, I just have um, like school password stuff basically and little notes of classes and my goals. Then I have passwords, which you cannot see. And then I get into YouTube. So this YouTube blog I've had for a really long time from he Helen Helenisk and it's 2024. So obviously I don't know if there will be a 2025 or if you just repeat and use, you know, I, yeah, it does say 2024, you guys. So there's, hold on. Um, this schedule out here is for 2024. And then I just wrote my goals. And then I added a finance section. So this is also Neo. It's got pay dates. I was gonna track uh, me and my husband's pay dates. And then a spending tracker to start out because I really do under this section wanna add home management from SM Plans where she has a home overview for all your accounts and stuff is like passwords. So I wanna add that in, but first I need to make sure that um, I get all those passwords and stuff and then accumulate them, put them in there and check the, I have to check the boxes to see if it's all that I need or if I need to add more. I don't think that that file is edible, but like where you can edit it. Okay. So the next section is my family section. So all that in sec section, excuse me, this is called my important section. <laughs> That's what I was going to label like important, like school, passwords, finances, and then YouTube's in there. So I guess, I don't know if that's like super important for me. That's kind of creative, but whatever. I mean, I'm not going to, I'm just going to write important. Anyway, so next is my daughter's section. Um, so I got this vellum and I cut it for each of my kids and I just put a notes page, which I already have to write notes. I know I have to write them right now before I forget. And then that's, um, my youngest. Then I have like a family picture that I made. Um, my daughter wrote me this. And lastly is my husband's section. I did not add like, well, my husband's section is his health section for like his medical stuff. I did not add personally a health log in here or anything because I don't know, you guys, I don't think I really need one. Like, let's say we catch a cold. I know people, people keep track of medicines. I will do that on a sticky note on my, the kids, the sick kids page and throw it away. I don't really want to do like, it's just more printing and it's more clutter, more spacey. You know, I focused on the areas that I really need. Anyways, I have to go. It is, um, I have to, it's probably time to go pick up my head. Um, or get my other kid ready. So I have to go. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later and um, let me know if you want to see any more updates or where I got something from. Talk to you later. Bye.